The 777X was once expected to be the future of aviation, a testament to Boeing's innovation and technological dominance. However, it faced significant challenges from the very beginning that contrasted with the initial expectations. So why might it turn out to be Boeing's misstep? Should the manufacturer continue placing its hopes on this aircraft? Let's find out. The first sign of trouble for Boeing's ambitious 777X program emerged when the initial delivery date of 2020 quietly came and went without any progress. Specifically, Boeing had originally planned to deliver the 777-9, the first model in the series, in 2020. The major customers for this aircraft include huge airlines such as Emirates, Qatar Airways, Lufthansa, Singapore Airlines, and Etihad Airways, all of which had placed substantial orders to bolster their long-haul fleets. However, the delivery timeline was not met. This was primarily due to challenges in developing and certifying new technologies, including the aircraft's unique folding wingtips and advanced control systems. Additionally, stricter requirements from the FAA following the 737 MAX crisis further delayed the approval process. Emirates, the airline, with the largest order of over 150 aircraft, was expected to be the first customer to receive the 777X. However, after numerous delays, the delivery timeline has now been pushed back to 2026, leaving customers frustrated and considering alternatives like the Airbus A350 to meet their fleet needs. This marked the beginning of a troubling pattern, exposing fundamental issues in Boeing's approach. What caused this? First, the technical challenges Boeing faced with the 777X program were far more complex than initially anticipated. Among them, certifying the aircraft's unique folding wingtips became a regulatory labyrinth that the manufacturer was not adequately prepared to navigate. The Federal Aviation Administration, still in a phase of reform following the 737 MAX crisis, applied unprecedentedly stringent evaluation standards. The FAA scrutinized every detail of the 777X design, from control systems and aerodynamics to operational safety protocols, prolonging the approval process significantly. Furthermore, Boeing's decision to upgrade the existing 777 series rather than design an entirely new aircraft added to the pressure. This choice not only confronted the company with more complex technical challenges, but also placed the entire project under intense scrutiny from the FAA and other international regulatory bodies. Secondly, the financial impact has been extremely severe. This program, initially planned with a carefully managed budget, quickly turned into a financial black hole draining Boeing's resources at an alarming rate. Cost overruns exceeded $1.5 billion, and this figure continues to climb sharply each year. Each delay not only required this company to invest thousands of additional engineering and testing hours, but also forced the company to implement numerous expensive design adjustments. By 2024, the situation had deteriorated to the point where Boeing had to announce a further delay in the first delivery pushing it back to 2026 instead of the original 2020 timeline. This came with additional costs amounting to $2.6 billion, driving the total budget far beyond initial projections and intensifying financial pressure. Altogether, the program has so far consumed tens of billions of dollars, casting significant doubt on the 777X's prospects for success. Moreover, the delays and cost overruns have not only strained the company's finance, but also shaken the confidence of major airlines, key strategic customers such as Emirates, Qatar Airways, and Lufthansa that had placed substantial orders for the 777X. Meanwhile, Airbus has capitalized on Boeing's struggles, with its A350 consistently attracting new orders from leading airlines, further weakening Boeing's position in the wide-body aircraft market. The most alarming aspect lies in the unsettling parallels with Boeing's troubled past. The strategy of upgrading an existing aircraft rather than designing an entirely new model is eerily reminiscent of the symbol of aviation insecurity, the 737 MAX. The 737 MAX, with its enhanced engines and design updates, was a strategic move by Boeing to compete with rivals like Airbus. However, this decision resulted in catastrophic consequences after two tragic crashes involving the aircraft claimed hundreds of lives, prompting regulators worldwide to ground the entire MAX fleet. The image of the 737 MAX being repeatedly delayed and revised to meet safety requirements set by aviation regulators left an indelible stain on Boeing's history. This severely damaged the company's reputation, sparking concerns not only within the aviation industry, but also among investors and major customers. Now, with the strategy of updating the 777 instead of developing an entirely new aircraft, 
Boeing faces the risk of repeating its past mistakes. Moreover, this approach not only introduces technical challenges, but also exposes the 777X to potential legal scrutiny, similar to what transpired with the 737 MAX. Regulatory authorities might need to re-examine every aspect of the aircraft's design, production processes, and quality control measures. Potential flaws in the upgrade process could lead to safety risks and prolonged delays, resulting in losses not only in financial terms, but also in customer trust and global consumer confidence. Therefore, the concern goes beyond whether Boeing can overcome the current technical challenges. It extends to the company's ability to restore its reputation and maintain its competitiveness in the aviation market with the shadow of the 737 MAX still looming. The 777X program is now not only a technical challenge, but also a complex question of how Boeing will confront its past and rebuild trust from airlines and passengers. The growing challenges are not just technical or financial, they are eroding something far more valuable, trust. Airlines, witnessing the constant delays and soaring costs are starting to question whether Boeing can deliver on its promises. The company that once enjoyed the aviation industry's full confidence is now facing skepticism from its most loyal customers. When everything was supposed to go according to plan, chaos ensued. That is the September workers' strike of 33,000 workers across the U.S. West Coast. As a consequence, Boeing incurred a loss of one U.S. billion per month, paralyzing all of its production programs. While Boeing struggled to weather the storm, Airbus, its fierce competitor, seized the opportunity to dominate the market. Airbus's A350 program quietly but powerfully rose to the forefront with orders surpassing 1,300 units, leaving the modest numbers of the 777X far behind. Major airlines like Korean Air, Delta Airlines, and Lufthansa did not hesitate to place their trust in the A350, making it the preferred choice for fleet upgrades. The success of the A350 was not only a win for Airbus, but also a clear indication that the 777X no longer held a monopoly in the high-end wide-body aircraft segment. As the aviation market increasingly leans toward Airbus, the financial markets are not immune to the shift. Warning signals from investors have become more pronounced. Boeing's credit rating is at risk of being downgraded to junk status. Analysts have warned that Boeing may need to raise between 10 to $15 billion just to maintain its current credit rating. With a massive debt load of $60 billion already on the books, along with an operational cash flow loss exceeding $7 billion in the first half of 2024. Any efforts to fund the 777X program are growing more distant. This crisis is not merely a temporary setback. It is a brutal test of Boeing's survival capability. Facing a stronger-than-ever competitor, a skeptical market, and mounting financial troubles, Boeing has no choice but to make bold decisions. But can the company overcome these challenges and turn the tide, or will this be the final warning for the position of this aviation giant? Boeing needs to act immediately. Amidst the ongoing crises, Boeing made a shocking announcement, a reduction of 17,700 jobs, equivalent to 10% of its global workforce. This decision not only sparked concern internally, but also sent shockwaves through the entire aviation industry. Although not directly related to the 777X program, this move raises serious questions about Boeing's ability to sustain and complete other complex aircraft development programs as its resources grow increasingly limited. In this context, the concern is no longer just whether this aircraft can be delivered on time, but more fundamentally, should Boeing continue pursuing this program at all? The company's financial situation is far from promising with losses exceeding $5 billion in recent quarters, compounded by a severe erosion of customer trust. Furthermore, the workforce is now heavily disrupted, adding additional pressure to production and development programs. Boeing once hoped that the 777X would become the new icon of the aviation industry, a massive twin-engine aircraft designed to redefine long-haul flights, but after a series of issues, does Boeing have to give up on this ambitious 777X? Such speculations are not without basis. When Boeing first announced plans for the 777X in the early 2010 Tatsuro S, the company placed a significant bet on continuing the proud legacy of the 777-300ER, which had become the benchmark for long-haul flights with over 800 units sold. The plan was initially seen as a strategic move, leveraging the success of the 777 to create the most advanced aircraft in the wide-body segment. With its pioneering design, 
From the unique folding wings to the powerful G9X engines, Boeing believed the 777X would solidify its position in the market. But now, those ambitions face the risk of becoming an expensive lesson in risk management and expectation. The 777X is expected to bring revolutionary advancements to the commercial aviation industry. The standout feature of this design is its unique folding wingtips. This first-of-its-kind innovation allows this massive aircraft to park at smaller gates without compromising the aerodynamic efficiency of its long wingspan during flight. With a spacious cabin configuration capable of accommodating 10 seats per row and a commitment to exceptional fuel efficiency, Boeing aims to establish the 777X as the new benchmark for long-haul travel. The appeal of the 777X is immediately evident in the substantial orders placed by leading airlines. Emirates, Boeing's close partner, has made a bold commitment with over 200 orders underscoring its confidence in the aircraft's potential. Qatar Airways, Lufthansa, and Singapore Airlines were quick to follow, pushing the total number of orders to an impressive figure, representing billions of dollars in potential revenue. More than just a new aircraft model, the aircraft is anticipated to serve as a robust foundation for the global aviation industry for decades to come. Boeing has also adopted what is considered a shrewd strategy, leveraging the proven success of the 777 series instead of developing an entirely new design from scratch. This approach not only minimizes risks, but also provides advantages in cost and time. The cockpit of the 777X is designed to be compatible with the 787 Dreamliner, enabling pilots to transition between the two aircraft types with minimal training costs. This strategic move is aimed at maximizing benefits not only for Boeing, but also for its customers, reinforcing the belief that this aircraft will become a cornerstone of the international aviation industry. But things went wrong, and we all know the outcome. Aviation analyst Richard Abulafia argues the 777X is still worth pursuing. As the largest passenger aircraft, it's ideal for airlines facing slot constraints at crowded airports. However, with nearly 500 orders, mostly from Middle Eastern giants like Emirates, Qatar Airways, and Etihad, Boeing cannot easily abandon the program without severe fallout. The question remains, are the immense costs worth it? Delays and rising expenses have turned the 777X into a symbol of mismanagement. Boeing now faces a critical choice. Cut losses or push forward against mounting challenges. What's your take? Share your thoughts below and safe travels.